Okay, starting turn number five with Arjun. And things have not been going so well for us this game. But we'll, we'll keep pressing and see what we can do. So we have these traps, and if we stay away from them, then you know we're better off. We can try to disable them, but uh, that might not actually be a terrible idea now that I think about it. Maybe coming up here and trying to disable that trap now that the board's clear of monsters. Mostly clear of monsters, because we can't get all the way over here anyway. So maybe we will do that. I think we just have to roll a 10. Of course, the rolling has just been so unlucky. Do we want to do that? Let's gamble. Let's do it. So we're going to have Arjun go one, two, three, four. So he's going to move over here. That way he's on an unexplored edge. And he's going to use his turn to try to disable this dart trap. This could be a huge mistake. Just have to roll a 10 or better. So we have a greater than 50% chance. It's like a 55% chance. 14. So we, we did it. We disabled the dart trap. So I, they would say that paid off. So the dart trap is gone. Put that over here. Get rid of the dart trap. And I guess that's an encounter, so we'll put it here. And uh, we'll have Cavan follow us up at the end of our hero phase so that he's not stuck on that tile by himself because that's bad news if he is. So let's update for Arjun. So he didn't use a token. He moved. Then he uh, will put a disable trap. Um, we do not get a treasure card for disabling a trap, unfortunately. We are exploring. Uh, the dark, uh, dark trap's gone. So now we have the sliding walls. Um, all right, so we are exploring. So let's uh, see what tile we get. And we get a white tile, so that's at least lucky. And we're going to draw a new monster for Arjun. Another rat swarm. Um, who had the rat swarm? Alyssa does, so that that's allowed. If Alyssa had drawn this, we wouldn't have we wouldn't allow it because that's how the rules are written. But Arjun drew it, so and that sucks when two of us have the same monster. But oh well. So we got a white tile. We got rats. Uh, no encounter, and we have the walls and the rats. So, at the beginning of the villain phase, we have to check Cavan, he's fine, he's on a tile by with no monsters, and with the hero, so he's fine. So now we move into the, the villain, the sliding walls, down here, goes on alert, and then goes back to de-alert. And now, Arjun's rats activate. So, they're going to move, we saw it before, they move bone pile to bone pile, they attack every hero on the tile... That's just going to be Arjun. Cavan does not count as a hero in terms of monsters attacking. Uh, that went off the table, so or off my tray, so I don't count rolls that go out of my tray. So that's an 8. 8 plus, what do, what do the rats get? 7? 8 plus 7 is 15, so that will miss Arjun. Because he has an AC of 17, so that'll be a miss, and luckily a miss is a miss. But now Alyssa's rats activate because all monsters with the same name activate. So now the rats that are down here are going to attack Alyssa, which is the thing that really stinks when you get the same monster out on the table. And that's uh, 15, so that's going to hit. Doing one damage to Alyssa, taking her down to two. But that will be the end of Arjun's turn. So now Alyssa's turn will begin. Decision to, with what to do with her is fairly easy. Uh, she's just going to ping her rats using her careful attack. She just instantly does one damage, no roll required. So we'll just add that to our experience pile. So let's see. Actually, we'll put it here. So we now have two experience pile of uh, five. So these rats go down, which is really nice, because that way we don't get that double activation again. 
Let's mark off her rats. So let's see. She did not use a surge. She did attack. She killed, so she gets a treasure. Let's get some of that EXP or uh, hit points, rather. Surround them until the end of your next hero phase. Each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of heroes on their tile. All right, so we'll put that kind of here in the middle just to help remember that it's there, but it probably won't do anything for us. Those seem to never help. So under blessings and conditions for her, I'm going to put ST for surround them, and then that will expire when we get to this point. Okay, she can move. She's not slowed down or anything. We'll have her go up to here, and we'll try to meet, like, up at this point. So we'll move Alyssa. She has a movement of six. So we'll have her go uh, one, two, three, four. We'll have her go all the way to the unexplored edge and just put her right on the bone pile. So we draw a tile for Alyssa. She's now exploring another white tile, so that's pretty, pretty lucky. It's a bit unfortunate that that's a wall there, because I was kind of hoping that we would meet, but... I guess we can try to meet up here. Uh, let's get a monster card for Alyssa. Spider, not the funnest. I think if I could draw, if I could draw monsters in any order I wanted, I would get all zombies first, and then all rats maybe second. Or actually, I wouldn't get all zombies first because you know you don't want the same monster with the same name. But um, anyway. So she did move, she did explore, she got a white tile, we got spider, but there's no encounter, um, rats are gone, her rats are gone, but now she has this spider. So at the beginning of her villain phase, we have to check the condition of cabin, and hey, look at that, that sucks, uh, cabin, there is a monster on the tile. Um, all right, so Cavan becomes the young vampire. So we take Cavan off, and at least for now, with the young vampire is back. So there's no encounter, but the young vampire activates. If the young vampire is adjacent to a hero, it attacks. Uh, so plus eight against Arjun, and it'll do two damage if it hits. And that is a six. Yeah, six plus eight is 14, so that's going to be a miss. Does it do anything if it misses? Or is it the way God intended, and a miss just misses? Hey, what do you know? The miss actually misses. Let me see here. So two, on an attack, the damage is two. The young vampire regains one hit point, and the vampire moves one tile in the direction of its tile's triangle. I'm, a, I'm thinking that only happens if it hits. That's not because it because it doesn't say it doesn't say like hit or miss or you know if it misses it does that. So I'm assuming that that only gets carried out on a hit. All right, so the, van the young vampire missed, so now the spiders will activate, uh, or the spider. If the spider is adjacent, it's not. If it's within one tile, it is. It attacks with the web, gets a plus 11 on that attack. If it hits, it does one damage, slows down Alyssa, and it'll pull itself adjacent to Alyssa. And it's going to be very unlikely that it misses with the plus 11. Yeah, 8, 11 is 19, so that's going to hit. All right, so Alyssa is once again slowed. Or rather, I guess that's her first time being slowed. Um, so ST and don't really have enough room for both of these, but I'll just put that there next to it. But even so, it will still expire at the uh, end of her next hero phase. Um, and she takes one damage, taking her down to one. And the spider pulls itself adjacent to her using its web, like it retracts itself in. All right, so that is the end of Alyssa's villain phase. So that's going to be the end of turn number five. For some reason, I'm thinking I said 
we're starting turn number six when I started this video, but anyway, that's the end of turn number five.